ADOG in BTC. So for ADOG in BTC, here we are. Okay, one thing I don't like about this is we are already under the skinny pink line, right? So for all the times that um, ADA crosses the skinny pink line, you will yeah, really truly spend some time under it, right? Actually not here. It happened over here, right? If we could extend this, right? If we could extend it, it was something, it would look something like this. This was already a warning. Boing. And then we slice through. The moment we, we slice through, we never really truly slice back up until 665 days later, right? There was an attempt made over here to yeah, slice back up above the skinny pink line, but we failed. We came back down. We attempted again, we failed, but eventually we succeeded. Woohoo! But then we slice back down. But then we slice back up. Yeah, but um, this move was the decisive decisive move for ADA against BTC where we broke out of the skinny pink line for real for good and yeah that's it after that um, you know yes we did come back down but uh, eventually you know we rose almost almost uh, actually we did uh, move more than a thousand percent this was a 10x for ADA however however nothing goes up forever we've already sliced back down under the skinny pink line right so you know trading trading and um, cryptocurrencies in general is like a cycle up down up down up down so i feel like the down cycle is happening for ada against btc it's happening now it has been in a downtrend ever since september uh, 2021 um, the moves that have come for ada since then yeah it has been lackluster uh, and yeah we're already under the skinny pink line could we see a rally Yes, sure, but I suspect that even if we do rally, we will we will find a strong resistance at the skinny pink line, and after that we might bounce back down. Lower, right? If if we could uh, hit the skinny pink line and reconsolidate right under the nose of the skinny pink line, there is potential of us um, slicing higher, right? Slicing through and going higher for ADA against BTC. If that happens, great, absolutely great. But we don't really see it yet, so at this point of time. Yeah, things just aren't really that clear. So yeah, be very, very careful about uh, going into a trade too soon for ADA against BTC. ADA against USDT, where are we? we are here. ADA against USDT, okay, this is not good. Why is this not good? <sighs> if you look over here, this whole thing is a left shoulder, All right? This whole thing is a head. It's a very slanted, right-sided, right? Very fast up, very slow down, but down towards the support we went <laughs> right we, we rallied uh, so hard towards the outside but we get pulled back down right so yeah you can see that the wheels of ada are pulling ada's price they are pulling ada's price much much lower uh, i mean if you look at it from the top to where we were at the bottom we are down 65 percent that's a lot. Uh, if you got in at the top here with $10,000, you will only be left with 3005 at the bottom. Your $10,000 um, investment has become 3005 So that would be brutal actually uh, in terms of investing. So yeah, I, I feel like there's still more downside to come. I don't think we're done yet. I think this is a, the, this whole thing is a wave A. I think there will be a wave B and there will be a wave C. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't see the wave B yet. We don't see a wave B yet. Uh, and we are very oversold, actually, to be honest. We are very oversold. And there should be some sort of a bounce towards the upside for ADA against USDT. My guess is, yeah, we will hit the skinny pink line. We might even slice through it. Uh, but I feel like eventually we will complete a right shoulder over here. And we will hit lower for um, ADA against USDT, right? Left shoulder, hit. Right shoulder, hit and shoulders. Possibility, possibility. We don't see this yet. We don't see this yet. So there is still the possibility that we could still rally back up, right? Uh, and we could complete something like a consolidation, maybe an uh, ascending triangle, you know, maybe a cup and handle kind of a chart pattern. You know, we might even get um, uh, an ABCD kind of a chart pattern and we could still go higher for ADA against USDT. Absolutely possible. Uh, and all of this depends upon BTC, but I just don't see it yet. And there's a very nice support line over here. It's too flat for my liking. So I feel like more likely than not, we're going to break the support line. So yeah, to be honest, even if we do a rally, uh, I feel like this would be a very good opportunity to enter shots towards the downside, in my opinion. But we need to see um, yeah, how the wheels of ADA uh, are manipulating the price of ADA first. We need to see how they behave, right? This is um, 
<laughs> this is just how it is, right? Uh, the world of uh, crypto, not just ADA, but the world of crypto, not just crypto as well, but the world of stocks, you know, commodities, uh, sugar, wheat, coffee, oil, uh, gold, silver, everything is manipulated, uh, not just ADA. So I just want to say that, yeah, you, you just have to be on the right side of the trade. You want to watch what the wheels are doing and you want to follow where the wheels are going, right? If the wheels are going up, you want to follow the wheels up. If the wheels are going down, you want to follow the wheel down. You do not want to go against the wheel um, because the wheels will just eat you up. So you don't want to be eaten up. You want to uh, be able to spot, right? what the wheels are doing. And that is what technical analysis is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what technical analysis. We want to specialize in uh, identifying uh, the movements of the wheels so that we can take a trade together with them. That's TA, boys and girls. 